Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dustin Lukey. Some local farmers telling us today they're getting a late start to the growing season, which could potentially lead to more supply shortages. News 19's Bone Kadrovich went to Westby to get a firsthand look at the challenges, apart from the weather, that farmers are currently facing. This year has been uh, not the best. We're way behind schedule. Um, actually, the latest we've ever put our small grains in. Local farmers are averaging about a two-week late start this planting season. The weather serves a challenge each year for farmers, but the recent cold weather is not the only challenge farmers are facing. Well, you know, Mother Nature is always number one that challenges us, but uh, just looking at the financial side of the business, uh, our input costs are two to three times higher than what they have been in, in recent years. Businesses experiencing labor shortages, unable to produce and transport parts farmers need, and the current inflation rate has farmers concerned for the future. It's very hard to come up with a list of anything that's less than a 10% increase. There's uh, not very many things that are that, uh, that small of an increase. We have things that are two to 300% increases over last year. And then looking forward to 2023, what are the inputs going to be then? This, is, this issue, I think, is going to have a long tail. Events taking place overseas impacting the production of American crops. Uh, different fertilizers, you know, potassium has just gone through the roof. A lot of that comes out of Ukraine and Russia, and so that's really hurting us right now. Uh, they're the largest exporters of those uh, fertilizers, so we're not seeing much of that. The costs of that are going up. The war has made fueling farm equipment to double in price, as Russia is a major exporter of oil. For instance, our big tractor has a 50-gallon tank on it. Uh, Last year it cost us 150 bucks to fill that up. This year it's 300 bucks to fill that up. A culmination of events affecting farmers without an end in sight. One of the biggest fears among farmers right now is we don't know when this is going to turn around. Reporting from Westby, this is Bowen Kadrovich, News 19. And Travis Klinker says he now is trying to grow his own soybean meal in efforts to find alternatives to help offset some of those spiking prices.